Hi. It's me, Kevin. Or Fingers, or Bean, or we've went through this before. We don't need to go through it again. The main reason for recording this is so you can all see me without a mustache and a goatee. Baby girl said, you know, it's scratchy. So, will you shave it off, Daddy? And that's about all it come down to. Yes, baby girl, I'll shave off all my facial hair for you. So I don't scratch you when I give you an excessive amount of kisses. And that's fine. Other than that, I really don't know why I'm recording this video. I, uh, I just kind of am. Um, I went last night and spent several hours at the, uh, oh, what is it, the Missouri Highway Patrol Station taking my written portion of my safety inspector's license test, and I have to say that it was quite boring. The instructor said, don't fall asleep during the movie, but I'm sitting upright and was dozing off. Fortunately, they gave us a break after the movie, and I was able to swell down some rock star and maintain my mental clarity through the end of everything and took the test. And the thing that was most messed up about the whole ordeal was I took the test. I read the book cover to cover because the guy said, read everything you know about school buses. Hey, you know about motorcycles. So I read it all. I watched the movie, well, in between my bouts of just dozing off, which I couldn't even control. I mean, it was one of those things where I was stabbing myself in the leg with a pencil to try to keep myself awake at times. And I mean, the, the film was made probably in the mid to late 80s, so I mean, it was one of those, you know... And there's inspection. And you've got to look at it. You know, that, that's fine. I understand that you don't need to redo it all the time. But, you know, five, every five years, every ten years, you know, maybe update it. Give me something modern. You know, whenever you get the. When, whenever I can produce better graphics on screen on my computer using the most basic video editing software as opposed to what the state has available to them to use that's when you know it's pretty friggin bad I mean it's just not good anyway I take the test and barely passed it which I think I was right there with most of the people because when I'm standing in line most people were getting about the same score as I was or not worse and my problem was is that I read the mother I watched the film Yet the questions they give you, there are so many of them that just are not covered anywhere. And I guess I should use my judgment, you know? But at the same time, you got to kind of give me the information before I can regurgitate it. And I'm really not happy about my 82%. Because if you watched Rant 1, which you may or may not have... I talk about how, you know, I kind of strive for stuff anymore. You know, when I was in high school and my first couple of bouts of college, I, I really didn't give a crap. But now that I'm older, I'm, I'm going to do my best. I was determined to get a perfect score on this thing, but you can't go in and take a test when they don't give you the information you need to pass the test. I mean, I guess they gave me enough to pass it because I passed it, but I don't know. I it just... It's it's one of those things to where if you really want to do well, sometimes it's like they're almost out to make you not do well. You know, it's... Uh, I don't know. It, you try, but hell, sometimes they just put crap in the middle of your cupcake and it tastes like shit whenever you eat it. And that's no good. So, you know, that that was thrilling and a waste of gas and and to get something that I did not even care to get. I realized that being a automobile inspector is an important part of a job of someone who works in the automotive industry, but really it's one of those deals to where 
I didn't really want the responsibility. I mean, you can get a lot of trouble if you inspect a car and something happens, and if it is or isn't your fault, they decide it is your fault, guess what? You're losing your privileges, they're charging you money, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big scam, and that's, that, that's the whole point. You can't expect me to do my job and perform this duty perfectly when you don't even give me the information to perform it perfectly. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, my other point I was going to talk about on this quick rant was I was sitting here and getting ready to record it until I realized that I didn't have a shirt on. I would just taken a shower, I'm reading stuff for school on the computer, getting ready to do some evaluations of other uh, of other uh, students speeches because you guys all watched my brilliant speech on tire pressures I'm sure and uh, I realized I should probably put a shirt on you know it's you don't want to see like my chest or my shoulders well maybe you do I don't know I mean it, it just creeps me out when I'm on YouTube and I come across a video where a guy's standing there with no shirt on or you know whatever and unless he's like doing like this side of built up this muscle here you know and I can understand that that makes perfectly good sense to me I, if you're building muscle and trying to be buff then or show something off that's fine oh by the way my shirt for the day was uh, is the stinger t-shirt and on the back I don't know if you'll have hold on a second it says, friends don't let friends drink cheap beer. And it was an awesome shirt. I got it whenever me and Jill were camping and actually, yeah, we were camping in Colorado and we went and got drunk and at the brewery and ended up, it was a great story actually because we ran up this huge tab, just drank our asses off and the guy who was running our bill had to leave because it was the end of his shift and he handed it off to another guy and the other guy walks up and looks at me he goes, Kevin Jones? And I look at this guy and I go Kevin Jones? I went to school with this kid and he was a year younger than me, and I remember I'd get called to the office for him because they thought it was me all the time, all through like junior high and high school. And I'd walk in, they'd be like, "What are you here for?" And I'm like, eh, "The principal wants to see me. I'm Kevin Jones." Like, ah, you're the wrong Kevin Jones. You, were you selling magazine subscriptions to kids in the hallways? No, that wasn't me. And anyway, it was Kevin Jones, and he looked at my tab and. I said, all right, I'm ready to settle up. And he looked at Tab and looked at me and ripped it into shreds and said, you're all right. So, of course, we left him like a $40 tip. So, you know, it was kind of nice. But, um, yeah, so that's a shirt. That's this shirt. That's that. Um, I've been trying to, I've been trying out cheap beers tonight. I'm trying the Keystone Light. And I don't care what kind of specially designed can it comes in, it still tastes like crap. And the Hurricane, which I tried because the gas station down the street didn't have the steel reserve, but I figured, hey, it's the same alcohol content. It can't be that bad. Terra friggin' bowl. All you people who said that the steel reserve is bad, drink a Hurricane and tell me that it's not like heaven on earth compared to the Hurricane. Don't get me wrong. Still 8.1%. Still felt pretty good after finishing off that can, but... I don't know. I really was hoping to like Keystone Light, but it's just not working out that way for me. I don't know what to tell you. They stopped... They raised the price of of uh, PBR 12 packs by like $1.50. It's like almost as the same... It's like a, a dollar off from buying Budweiser. It's like, you know something? I enjoy PBR... And we'll probably still drink PBR quite a bit, but whenever I'm a dollar away from Budweiser, which I guess I enjoy just a little bit more, I mean, that's that's a dollar. You know what I mean? It's a dollar over 12 beers. That's not much per can. 
It's tough to make that dive. I think the gas station where I work still has it for 50 cents cheaper than they do. So maybe save my dollar fifty, which is still not crap. But you know, it's I don't know. I'm really kind of sad that I work for a business where they don't believe in oh I don't know uh, cost of living increases in your pay for the last 10 12 years some guys and you know decide they're gonna not give us um, a bonus which I didn't get last year because I didn't go to the hollow or to the Christmas party I never realized I had to go to the Christmas party to get my year-end bonus which don't ask me how the hell that works out you know what I mean it's like if you're gonna give everybody a bonus you give everybody a freaking bonus just because you scheduled your Halloween, your Christmas party at the same time that I have a family gathering don't jit me out of my 50 bucks which woohoo 50 bucks and then I decided that unlike all the previous years we're not gonna get vacation days for Christmas or New Year's and we're going to, have to work on both of those well Christmas Eve day and New Year's Eve day and you know and that's fine I don't have a problem with that but still give me a day or you know, they're gonna make us work partial days and then not even pay us for the rest of the day uh, actually I think New Year's Eve they are gonna let us go at four and pay us for the rest of the day oh, thank you for that extra hour sir it's ridiculous I would love to enjoy my good beer, but unfortunately everything else in the friggin' world is going up in price, and I just can't afford to squeeze that extra $10 out a week so I can enjoy a happy, good six-pack of beer. That's pretty friggin' pathetic that you can't even give me enough money to enjoy that $10 worth of beer a week. I'm not asking for like a five dollar raise. Give me a friggin' quarter. You know, a quarter over forty hours. You know, that'd pretty much be all right with me. I, I'd be. I, I could buy my six pack of good beer and enjoy it. But no. Anyways, pretty boring. I apologize. I would like to get into the habit of doing these nightly, just because. I don't know. It's we don't really do anything to leave our mark on the world anymore and be kind of nice just to have something out there anyway I'm going to finish this Keystone Light and if I come up with anything else I'll record it I doubt it, talk at you later bye bye love you bye bye